sometimes life can be messy. And there's two ways in which it can be messy. Things can be messy on the exterior, and things can be messy on the interior. Exterior messes include things like dirty hands and dirty faces, dirty dishes, dirty towels, um, a dirty floor. These things on the exterior are relatively easy to take care of. I mean, all you gotta do is apply some cleaning product to them, get enough water and also an, enough effort, and what happens? With elbow grease, water, and product, they all get cleaned. Whether it's the dishes, whether it's the laundry, um, whether it's the bed sheets, things just get cleaned if we apply enough effort to them. But that's a relatively simple process. But when things are messy internally, it's a lot more difficult to deal with them. And Jesus knows that full well. After all, he tells the Pharisees, you're taking care of all these external things in today's gospel, such as cleaning up your hands and things before you eat at dinner, but the interior is really what you need to focus on and clean up. Why didn't the, the Pharisees do that very well? Well, I suppose it actually is easier to clean up the external things, dirty hands, for instance. To deal with the internal things takes a lot of work, a lot of energy, and you don't get quick results. Quite often, if our lives are messy, for a whole bunch of reasons, some things that we're responsible for, but maybe some things we've experienced which have been difficult, or bad habits we've gotten into, then actually in those cases, it can be much more difficult to change them. And so, Jesus tells the Pharisees, actually concentrate on the interior rather than the exterior, and then you'll be clean all around. One way that we can do that is to simply have an examination of conscience prayer. It's so simple. At the end of the day, and hopefully you're already doing it, um, if you are, let me re just reconfirm you in that. At the end of the day, spend no more than three minutes looking back at some key moments in the day that come to your mind, starting with the morning, moving to the afternoon, and gradually to the evening. What three things did you do well? What three things are you proud of? In what three ways, in three moments, were you like Jesus? Think about those things and thank God for them. Then look at three ways throughout the day that you could have loved more. Maybe a moment in which you sinned something you have to improve on, some way in which you are not charitable or loving the way you should be. Look at those moments and say an act of contrition after explaining to God your sorrow and have a resolution. What will you do differently tomorrow? How will you be different? Will you be less proud? Will you be less judgmental? Will you be quicker to look after your neighbor's needs? Will you finally forgive someone? Have a resolution at the end of your examination of conscience. If you do that each and every day, watch what happens. Gradually, slowly, but almost inevitably, your life will change and that messiness will become cleaned up. Why? Because you will be opening yourself to God's grace and the power of the Holy Spirit. And when his light and his warmth comes into your heart and comes into your conscience, then you will be made clean, clean indeed. So have confidence, do not lose hope and keep your eye focused on the prize. Unity with Jesus, which happens when we keep our eyes on him and when in our hearts, we're able to clean up the messes with the light of the Holy Spirit and God's grace. May God bless you.